In this video, I'll show you how to pair a garage door opener to the home link system found in a 992. Now, 992s use virtual home link buttons to enable a user to have multiple uh, devices paired to the car. Again, more than three that we've had with the previous hard buttons in other generations of 911. In order to pair the home link profiles, you're going to want to access them by clicking car, control, and then Homelink Profiles. Now this will start the Homelink uh, configuration. Go ahead and click that. And then what you do is you hold down with your garage door opener, as it says, you hold down the button towards the PCM until you're prompted for the next step. Now this is sensing that my garage door has a rolling code. And most modern garage doors have a rolling code for safety reasons. Uh, there's a little trick that you need to follow in order for the synchronization to happen um, properly. Uh, unfortunately, the system does not uh, regularly pair with certain garage door openers. So in this case, I am going to say synchronize. I'm going to say send signal. And even though my garage door has not opened or closed, I'm going to say yes, it was successful. This is going to move me on to the next step. We will complete the synchronization uh, later. Now it's going to ask me, do I want to add, a current, add the current location? Uh, what this is going to do is save the location that you're in, which would most likely be your house or wherever you're pairing the garage door uh, to your vehicle. And when you approach that location uh, next time around, it will prompt you to open your garage door by displaying the home link profile on your PCM. My recommendation is to actually not use that function. Sometimes the car might not recognize where you are and might not prompt you to open your garage door. And if it doesn't think you're at your location, well, it will not, dis it will not display that home link profile. So in order to avoid confusion, we're gonna say, do not add a location. Now, the last step is to name your profile. So if you have multiple uh, profiles saved into your car, uh, you might want to call one garage, gate, office, uh, whatever it may be, you can customize that as well. So in this case, I've named it garage, and we're going to say OK. So it says that it was successful, but as we know, uh, I haven't been able to open my garage door with the home link system quite yet. Uh, the last step is actually to complete the rolling code pairing process with your vehicle. Now, in order to do this, we need to access the home link profiles. We're going to go home. And in this case, I've actually put the home link profiles on my home screen. This way, when I select this, it will uh, select garage. It will send the signal. Uh, you can do this by customizing the home screen in your PCM and I have a separate video that can show you how to do that. Another option is to use the diamond keys that you see down below here. There's one on the steering wheel as well. And then when you hold that down, you can assign a customized function to that key. So in this case, what I'm going to do is assign it to the home link profiles. Now, when I push that diamond key, my profiles will automatically pop up. And that is the recommended way to use the new home link uh, profiles that are based in the PCM is to use either the home screen or the diamond key to access your profiles, much like you would to push the button in the previous generations of 911. So in this case, if I push garage, Again, it will send the signal. But there's one last step we need to complete in order to, uh, uh, to have everything sync up. And that is to, to enable access to the rolling code on the garage door itself. So what I'm going to do is go to my garage door opener. And in the back of garage door openers with rolling codes, there should be a button. And when you click that button, it will enable access to the rolling code. 
you know it's uh, activated when you see a light turn on when you push the button. What we're going to do now is go back into the vehicle. And we're simply just going to push the garage door profile until it works. And in this case, it took about three times, and I would say that's about the average. And as you can see, my Homelink profile is now paired to my garage door opener. Again, if you need to pair another device, you'd simply just go to, again, car, control, profiles, show all profiles now, and then you can go ahead and edit.